Hi, welcome to third lecture in the series of audio and speech signal processing. You can also visit our site at www.jcbrolabs.org for getting the web uh, web series of the same lecture. You can also download the source code of MATLAB program from that website. In previous lecture, we talked about how to record uh, sound uh, in MATLAB from microphone or any other device. In this particular video, we will talk about how to do spectral analysis of sound or speech signal. The main difference between why we are um, categorizing these two things differently, sound and speech, because when we talk about speech, then we are mainly talking about the human speech. Uh, and the frequency spectrum goes up to uh, 4 kilohertz of frequency in case of human speech. That means the most of the information lies up to 4 kilohertz of frequency. While in the case of sound, sound could be of anything like it could be any music or it could be from any other sources. So depending on our hearing capability, we can hear up to 20 kilohertz of sound. That means the some of the instrument may be producing sounds uh, which is of uh, 15 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and so on. So that is why we uh, differentiate between these two things, uh, speech and sound. So let's open MATLAB. So as we have discussed, there are two ways to first. Uh, uh, our first requirement is to get data into MATLAB before doing any further processing. So, as we know, we already have let's delete it and see. Uh, we have some of the sound rec pre recorded to our computer. You can, uh, we'll also demonstrate how to do the same thing uh, for live sound. That means uh, after recording the sound at the same time. So, First uh, option, uh, first uh, requirement is to get the sound or get the data in MATLAB. Let's clear it all. So, data from IFS as we have discussed in our previous lecture. So, there is a command wave, wave read that will able to read dot wave file format. So, we have dot wave file format here. So let's read it here and that's it so we have our data and we have our now uh, sound uh, sampling frequency so for this way we have sampling frequency of 16,000 now CLC now we will do uh, FFT spectrum we will calculate FFT of the sound uh, this is a digital signal processing concept and if you are familiar with DSP then you know the FFT can be calculated for any length but uh, generally most of the pro uh, we go for the FFT of the length uh, uh, in, a, in a power of 2 that means for 2 length, 4 length, 8 length FFT or 16 length and keeps going on like 256, 512, 1024 and 2042 so our uh, as we need to specify the frequency as well at what frequency uh, uh, components are present in there so uh, at x axis of this FFT plot there should be a frequency component. so for that case we will first find what is the next power of 2 for which uh, our number will be greater than the number of samples present in our data so currently we have 331,843 samples so let's take length of all the data and there is a command uh, in MATLAB which directly calculates the next power of 2 so to the power next power of 2 of length so this next power of 2 will give the power and from after making it to the power we will get the exact number so this NFT will be 32,768. So it is a, a, a direct a, a combination of 2 to, two to the power. So that's it. Now uh, we will create our frequency space F. Uh, as we know, uh, the 
frequency which can be recorded uh, while doing digitization that has to be half of the sampling frequency so if we have a uh, 16000 sampling frequency that means the original frequency we can up to only 8 kilohertz only so that is why we are doing fs by 2 and why we are making it uh, we will see in later uh, line space 0 comma 1 comma and fft half length of the total plus 1 because we know the digital spectrum is uh, uh, is double sided and the maximum uh, frequency can go up to 2 pi uh, in digital domain so we need to convert it into from the digital domain frequency to the natural domain so that is why we are doing all this thing so we'll uh, see in just in a letter now let's take the Fourier transform uh, and take the absolute value of it FFT of data comma to the number of points as in was FFT so now if we plot this XF we'll get two side spectrum and the beauty is for this two side spectrum they are identical at this midpoint and this midpoint is uh, known as a pi so if uh, you are familiar with the DSP concept the maximum frequency can go up to 2 pi and it is uh, periodic around with a period of pi so uh, we have uh, all the required information related to the data or sound speech we can get into this much of a spectrum so the rest of the spectrum is a uh, waste or additional for us so we'll get up to here and it is exactly the same length because uh, the total length is n FFT and the midpoint will be n FFT by 2 plus 1 so that is why we uh, did that so now we will plot uh, in a different way so that x uh, x-axis also represent the frequency component so plot frequency part and then xf xf contains all the data so we want to plot only up to n FFT so 1 2 and FFT by 2 plus 1 you can get also the detailed description of it in uh, on the web page of this video which will be available shortly so, now this is the clear spectrum of it and if you can see so we have up to 8 kilohertz of sam uh, frequencies component as we discussed because the sampling frequency is 16,000 and most of the uh, energy lies up to 1 kilohertz of frequency so that was a particular sound some sound was recorded there and the uh, uh, frequency component used in those sounds are up to 1k so uh, sometimes it also required to use the power spectral density uh, of the signal and there are several ways for calculating the power spectral density uh, but uh, in this video we will be talking about only Welsh spectrum uh, for the power spectrum so first we need to create a spectrum object of Welsh type MATLAB and then we can directly calculate the PSD by object data of which we want to calculate the spectrum and the sampling frequency that's it so now we can plot it uh, simply plot D so this will uh, uh, directly because this PSD command returns an object this spectrum which contains several information like sampling frequency frequencies data and everything so more discussion about this PSD method or Welsh method can be uh, find in textbooks or in literature so again up to here the maximum of energy is uh, up to 1 kilowatts and then again there is a uh, further increase in the energy and then further 3 to 4 range so by uh, this PSD we can have an estimate like uh, in which frequency regions uh, power uh, is being concentrated 
and this uh, information could be useful for doing several kind of uh, signal processing uh, like a speaker recognition and uh, many other things and how can be done we'll give you a hint about it so this is how this uh, FFT and PSD can be calculated so for the convenience purpose uh, we have uh, written down a script uh, this script records uh, the sound directly from my microphone and then plots uh, the FFT plot and PSD plot at, uh, at the same time and so we will look at it how it works and uh, you can also download this uh, source code or this uh, script file uh, from our website in download section so let's run it uh, it uh, uh, we have recorded the sound from audio recorder and it is recording sound for two seconds so I will be whistling and then uh, we will see uh, how it uh, spectrum comes out to be you can also uh, repeat the uh, experiment uh, uh, with your computer as well and you will find that the frequency component of the whistle is different uh, for different users so let's run it So uh, this is the clear picture of this. Uh, uh, this is the picture of FFT, and you can see there is a clear spike around. This is 250 hertz. So that means the frequency component which was present in my whistle, that was up to uh, 2.5 kilohertz. Sorry, uh, we have taken the sampling frequency of 44,000. So the maximum frequency can go up to 25 kilo. Uh, 25 kilohertz so this is in the range of kilohertz so this is uh, this was 5 kilohertz and it could be around 2 kilohertz so the whistle frequency of my sound is around 2 kilohertz and this can be evident from this sign as well this is a power spectrum and the frequency range is in kilohertz so the maximum uh, 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 is around at again 2 so we can have uh, further visualize it horizontal zoom yeah it is around 1.5 kilohertz so if you whistle uh, again you may find that your peak or the spectrum peak is at somewhere else so this particular information can be identified for user uh, for a speaker uh, identification and this is a very crude way for identifying it like uh, you record the whistle sound and then you compare it whether it is up to here and from then the maximum frequency is compared with the database and based on that database we can identify like which user uh, or which speaker is speaking so so I hope uh, you have understand uh, all the basic concept of spectrum uh, spectral analysis of sound and speech signals and you can also again you can also download the code from our website so that's it for this video thank you